Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's the final day on Lake of the Ozarks behind me here. Just waiting for Kyler to get here. We're gonna try something a little different today. Most of the weekend we were spider rigging, um, which is fun, and uh, it's pretty much how we're gonna catch the big ones, but the temperature's warmed up and the water temps are like 50 in some of these coves, and the crappie actually pushed up shallow, like less than six feet of water. So we're gonna try to do some, uh, some different stuff today. Probably make it into a few different videos and uh, yeah, hopefully show you something pretty cool. But uh, this, this boat needs a cleaning. Super dusty, super dusty. Normally I wouldn't put, put this boat on the water until probably late March, if I'm lucky, most likely April. The fact, it's already, the fact that it's already been in the water in February for a Northern boy like me, man, I couldn't ask for much more. Here we go. Final day, final morning, officially getting underway here. We got all those paddlefish in there. A bunch of snaggers. It's probably cold. Oh yeah, she's cold. I'm ready. <laughs> See all the panoptic stuff? Yeah. There's a fish. That looks like a big cat though. Just single. All right, we're on the water right now. Doing a little uh, floats and jigs. What do you got set up? A little slip float? Yep, a little slip float. A little uh, jig on the bottom with a mermaid jig. Black and chartreuse. How, how deep are you right now? Oh, I don't know, what, foot and a half, two foot. Okay. Now I got the same kind of setup. Oh, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably about two foot down. Basic lead head, 16th ounce. Walmart brand. Hashtag Walmart brand. That's right, Walmart brand. Walmart brand jigs. <laughs> and then uh, got some crappie monster grub tail and little minnow pattern. Dark colors and dirty water, folks. Right. Dark colors and dirty water. Dark Don't let other better. people tell you different. Dark colors and dirty water show up way better. Way yeah. better. So we actually jumped around quite a bit um, from slip bobbers and fishing different brush piles, as you can see on the pan optics here. But eventually we made our way over to this dock, and I think it was the first or second shot he had Black he crappie. hooked up. Ooh. Look at that. Good way to start off the morning. Nice black crappie. Nice pretty black crappie. Hey, number one, staying hot. <coughs> really? <coughs> that is a very nice crappie. Oh, that big girl. I might just film you. <laughs> I can't catch crap. All right, that's a nice white crappie. That's a good one there. We're right off the dock. This fish, a lot of those black ones, they were holding up really high in the water column. Pretty much just shoot it under there and reel it straight out real slow. This fish here, I counted her down to about five seconds and then started easing out real slow and she just couldn't resist it. Good fish. Oh, see you later, baby. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually catch a fish. Right there. Yep. And now we're recording, finally. Well, bobber went down. Big old white crappie. Thank you, Kyler. There you go. Whew. Yeah. Good one. It's a big crappie. That's a big Pop one there. Crappie monster. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
There we go. We went back and forth between dock shooting and slip floats, and dock Did shooting you know? actually turned out where, to be the most successful. Right so we just stuck to the docks. Okay. I will say, Don't Tyler is an expert at dock shooting. Right he has all these docks on Lake of the Ozarks. He's got a lot more practice than I do. Started off actually the night before with a five and a half foot dock shooting rod. And I quickly found out that the seven and a half foot that I used a lot of times for casting worked a lot better for me. Um, I was able to actually shoot under the docks and not have to either sit down or kneel down to shoot. Uh, this is probably going to be a debate, but comment below what size of rod do you think is a perfect dock shooting rod. I think it really varies on how tall you are. Um, Kyler was using a six and a half foot rod. He had no problem shooting under those docks. I found the seven and a half foot rod perfect for me. <laughs> That's a good one too. First dock shooting rod <laughs> or dock shooting fish ever. Got it. Well, that, I mean, real dock shooting. Yeah. Like real dock shooting. Well, I got it. I got it for you. I, I shot it. No, I, I, I got the. Oh, the okay. On. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording. I don't know if this is going to be part of the video. It will be part of your video. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to make it part of mine, but if they're watching right now, I've been on the struggle bus the entire time. It's all right. It's all right. But it's really not. Not, a, not if you have a crappie fishing YouTube channel. It's really not. <laughs> I'll give you a bigger hole to shoot at. Is that nine? Oh, yeah. You're going to, you're going to do what? A big hole on this side. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Now you tell me that. Oh my God, <laughs> gotta be kidding me. I'm shooting at a four inch gap and there's like six feet. Yeah, yeah. Now you're gonna get sloppy though. I know. Over, under, or just straight up crossbar. I'm calling crossbar. That's a nice fish, it's lost right here. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's a tree. Oh, there you go. In the boat. In the boat. Another good eater. I'm trying to skip it underneath that log. All the way in the back. All the way back there? All the way in the back. Just shoot it over the log. Okay. Oh, well, then I gotta get it. Good shot. There he is. Yep. Yeah, he's on the. Oh, there he is. Yep. They're back there. They are back there. Caught one off that, that log, though. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do a bass style skip. It paid off. Is that. <laughs> we should have just been doing this all day. Oh. You're just nailing them. There we go. Letting them fall, fall, yeah. fall. Not hardly even real one. Yes. <laughs> Putting on a clinic over there. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Got him. Do they have a fish cleaning thing at the ramp? I got a cleaning board. Let's take you in this side, buddy. Keep it. I had one on. I didn't even realize it. That's gonna end her. Just like that. Dock shooting at its finest. All right. Whoa. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Dock shooting, a little bit of bobber fishing. He's a he's pretty much a pro at this. I was not very good, but 
did catch some fish and uh, gonna put some in the frying pan later on tonight. So thanks again, Kyler, appreciate it. Yep, not a problem, man. Showing me some spots. I'm gonna link his Instagram and his YouTube channel below, go check him out, and then his guide service coming soon. I'll link that below in the description as well. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Appreciate that. Comment below if you like dock shooting. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. We'll see ya.